Let's bring in former chief nominations counsel for the Senate Judiciary Committee, Mike Davis. Mike, great to have you on. GOP Congressman James Comer said this, made this point about Alvin Bragg. Watch. Because he crossed over two levels of government from the local level to the federal level to try to prosecute something that, that clearly, if there was a reason uh, for prosecution, it should be done by the Department of Justice on the federal level. Yeah, Comer's right. It is a reach, Mike. Uh, this is a Soros-funded Manhattan DA who had previously told the previous uh, Manhattan DA not to prosecute this case when Bragg worked for the New York Attorney General's office. The U.S. Attorney for Manhattan declined to prosecute this case. The, the Federal Election Commission uh, did not do anything uh, about this case. This was President Trump settling a nuisance claim mm -hmm. uh, back in 2016 that Alvin Bragg now is trying to resurrect as a federal yeah. election felony. It's nonsense. Yeah. And I think you make a very good point because public opinion really was kind of starting to go against Alvin Bragg, right? Thinking this was very political. And then you have former President Trump post that social media thing. Uh, Michael, Michael Goodwin of the New York Post writes the following here. It's not news that Donald Trump is the worst of his own enemies, but he outdid himself with his latest bizarre behavior. His social media warning early Friday that death and destruction could follow if he's criminally charged in the Stormy Daniels case came as he posted an image of himself holding a baseball bat next to a photo of Manhattan DA Alvin Bragg's head. Um, was it ill-advised? Is this something that can hurt him uh, going down the road here, Mike? I, I think tr President Trump was correct in his explanation. He took a news story and posted it on Truth. I don't think he meant for the... He didn't put, put the picture up there as part of the news story. So, and President Trump has made it very clear that he, that he does not want any violence here. And, and all of Trump supporters are not itching for violence, they're, it's quite the opposite. So I think this is just Democrats trying to make, uh, you know, trying to politicize this. And here is the former president being asked about a potential indictment and his response. Watch. You'd be arraigned? Yeah. That you'd be, there'd be a mugshot, you'd be fingerprinted and maybe even handcuffed. Now, when you think about being at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue and juxtapose it to that, how do you deal with that? Well, I deal with it. We're dealing with very dishonest people. We're dealing with thugs. We're dealing with people I actually believe that hate our country. Yeah. Uh, your final thoughts on this, his comments. I, I, like. I agree with President Trump. The Democrats have completely politicized and weaponized the justice system, whether it's Manhattan DA, Alvin Bragg, special counsel, Jack Smith, Fulton County DA, mm -hmm. Fannie Willis. They're trying to indict Trump because they they're afraid they can't beat him in the polls. Yeah. Mike Davis, good of you to come on, sir. Thank you. Thank you.